What's up, y'all? This is Paulo. Simple Twitter bass player, as you know. Ooh. Uh, I'm here to, to try to remember some stories about Beneath the Remains and uh, try to uh, share that with you guys. So, Beneath the Remains was the first record that we had a uh, contract signed with the Broadrunner. So, that was the first one of the out of the seven, if I'm, if I'm correct, if I can remember at the moment. Uh, it was the first time that we had the chance to record with a international producer, which was Scott Burns. You know, he came down to Brazil. Uh, we did the recording uh, Nas Nuvens studio in Rio de Janeiro, which, uh, if I'm not wrong, took about two weeks. And uh, we we had uh, only the night shift. We have the 12 hours, only a night time to record that album. So it was, uh, it was pretty interesting, you know, in uh, a lot of the places in Brazil back then. And uh, they used to divide the studio recording hours in sessions. So we had the night shift. There was different Brazilian artists uh, recording during the, the, the daytime. Uh, as, as far as I can remember that, uh, everything went smoothly on schedule. And uh, back then, I, as, as a lot of people know, I, had, I still had problems with uh, bass recording. So Andreas was the, the responsible for the bass on the record. Uh, what else? For, uh, that was the first time that we met Scott Burns and uh, we thought the uh, the impression that we had was, you know, pretty positive, uh, despite in his uh, hillbilly looks <laughs> that we thought of, like, this guy is coming from Florida, blah, 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 that death metal, you know, scene, <laughs> and uh, arrived, uh, the first, uh, the, the guy that came in was like a, a hillbilly, so we nicknamed him Chion, <laughs> which is a short for Sebastian, Sebastian, which is a hillbilly name here in Brazil, so... Up to this date, uh, he still has the Chion nickname. We still call him Chion. That was the first time we we got the, to do an international tour. Was it the On Beneath the Remains? Um, we had a chance to do the European date with Sodom, uh, and we did out right after that. We did uh, the North America, actually United States tour with the uh, Faith of Fear which is very interesting. We crossed the United States uh, in a van. And uh, there's many stories about uh, all those two tours. You know, that was the first time that we had the chance to, you know, to, to see the real world outside Brazil, you know. And it was great. It was a great experience. We did, uh, if I'm not wrong, about 24 dates with uh, Sodom. And out of those 24 dates, we did that. Uh, I think if I'm not wrong, 17 dates only in Germany. So, which was pretty good, you know. Uh, and we had the chance to play Paris, and uh, we had the chance to play London as well, the Marquis, and the Gibus Club in Paris, which was uh, pretty much, you no, know, was very nice. Um, another curious story about it was uh, when um, Scott Burns came as well he brought uh, a boom box with him so he could uh, uh, do his rough mixes at the end of the day of the studio and and, and put in a cassette tape and then um, to, for, to, to, to listen to on the, on, uh, on his hotel room to, to have a re reference you know how's the album was sounding etc etc and uh, that boom box boom box got uh, stolen. You know, and he was really pissed off because he basically lost his uh, his reference. And I, I don't remember he, if he got a new one, but uh, he was very pissed off about that that episode. Well, another curious fact about uh, Beneath the Remains is that uh, the cover, the artwork for the Beneath the Remains originally was thought was the one that was given to obituary the cause of death uh, album you know that was a, a very weird times because uh, we we did choose that uh, that design from Michael William Michael William and uh, was not uh, back then I can't remember what exactly what happened but uh, we couldn't use the 
the cover that we chose. So, and it was offered to us the actual uh, cover that it is nowadays on the beneath the remains, and which made us very sad at the, at the time because we could use the artwork, and then months after, in the obituary release the album uh, using our artwork so it was very uh, it was very weird we really got pissed off with Montconi about that because uh, you know I, we knew there was nothing to to do with the obituary itself you know it was more a, a record label thing you know politics politics issues inside the record label and uh, really made us uh, pretty pissed off, you know. Despite, you know, the great artworks that uh, Michael Whelan always had, you know, we used uh, a, f a few times, and uh, but that, that was not the issue, you know. So there's a little storyteller about Beneath the Remains, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'd like to take the time to thank you all for watching, you know, the Simple Quarta which is going to be held on every Wednesday at 4 o'clock Brazilian time, 4 o'clock p.m. Brazilian time. So stay tuned and uh, we stay home, wash your hands, and uh, you know, follow all the protocols, the healthy protocols to be, you know, so this way we can go through this turbulent times and uh, as quick as possible and we can, the whole world can come back to, the natural state. Uh, be well. We see each other next week, next Wednesday at 4 p.m. Metal. Oh, by the way, I uh, totally forgot. Don't forget to subscribe our page somewhere down here or up there. I, I don't remember. And uh, next Wednesday, the April 29th, we're going to be doing the the live version of uh, Refuse Resist. Nice. I like to see that. So be well. We'll talk to you soon. Mm. By the way, I forgot to mention that um, Beneath the Remains has been re released. There's a new edition out, out there for you guys if you'd like to purchase. Hmm. Having some food because I haven't eaten all day long, so. Have a good night. Thank you.